So Robbie, we exit the Cheshire Senior Cup today, but I don't think the scoreline really reflects the performance, does it? They were brilliant, um, each and every one of them. Um, the desire, you know, resolute and defending. You know, we knew that Staley Bridge, you know, with a really strong team, um, would come and dominate possession, dominate chances. Um, I thought the shape of the team was good in that 4-5-1. Um, and when you're defending as much as that, you have to be mental, mentally and physically switched on at all times. Um, and the moment you don't, you know, you can they can hurt you, as they did just before half-time for that second. Um, you know, we had a great goal, kind of setting up Jamie Walker to go 1-1. Um, you know, they were the better side, good luck to them the next round. Um, it was a great workout for them, but it was also a great workout for our youngsters. And I think it, you know, it's a, it's a great advocate for what we're doing as a football club to, you know, to keep the scoreline to 3 1. Um, okay, we didn't create many chances um, and give opportunities to several youngsters tonight. I think we can be proud as a football club. Um, the academy showing there's a pathway, the B Tech, one of the biggest in the country. Um, also, and our international um, students um, performing like they did. So, it's a, it's a, it's. I'm proud of that performance. It's a great performance. Um, but Staley Bridge, you know, they were the better side and thoroughly deserved to go through. You touched on the fact that you know, obviously, it was a young side for us, and obviously, Staley Bridge put out fairly a strong eleven. Um, just how much does that show the credit that goes to the BTEC and the international staff that have yeah. developed this pathway? As we say, you know, when Robin. Ro and I built the football club. We wanted to create, you know, a, a, a fantastic academy, which we've done, and that goes to show now players are playing the first team, one of the biggest B techs in the country, um, which we have, you know, and an international program where, you know, students can come and do a masters in Preston. So we're absolutely delighted with the way the, the football club's going. Um, it's a great learning curve for those youngsters, and I said to him afterwards, you can all be proud, but. The one thing, you know, that shows tonight that in in their relevant age groups, whatever, you know, whatever league they're playing, um, they have lots of time on the ball. When you start going to senior football, um, you know, you've still got to be brave. You still got to do what you've done. You know, physicality was huge tonight. But instead of just panicking and you know and, and booting the ball as far as you can, just have a little bit of comfort to take your touches. Do what's do what's got you to where you are now by playing in the first team um, you know they can work on that but once again I think they were they were they were brilliant I thought the patterns were good I thought that the work ethic um, you know I can go through every single player the goalkeeper was magnificent Justin it was a great performance from him um, if I can go through each and every one of them and say listen it was brilliant that there'll be some tired lads you know going to university or, or to college tomorrow um, the average age of the team was um, 17 and a half, 18. Um, so again, it's a wonderful night for the football club. Um, you know, the result was inevitable, really, with how strong they were. Um, but it just goes to show that you know people talk about non-league football. There's some very, very good players, exceptional players at non-league levels. There are some very good players, and I'm sure that John Macken will do, will do well with them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a wonderful night showcasing the multiple platforms we can give our players. From your point of view then, as head coach of the football club, how refreshing was it to be able to manage our, our up-and-coming talents? Yeah, you know, I, it's the Cheshire Cup, but it's a first-team game. So, you know, myself, John and Bandy and all the staff, we treated it as it was a first-team game, even though there were 16 changes from the weekend in terms of the 11 stars and the five who come on. You know, we, you know, we, we give the competition... Um, the respect, you know, because we wanted to go through this. We knew it was going to be difficult. People might say, well, you've made 16 changes, of course. But again, from the staff perspective, it was the first team staff, and, and rightly so. Um, so again, um, they'll they'll sleep tonight, those youngsters. Um, I think they'll be a bit stiff in the morning. Um, you know, some tired legs, but again... Um, they, they can be proud of their performance and us as a football club are proud of what we're doing and we keep going, we keep building um, you know we've got a big one on, on Saturday now, Morpus with another win to now to 6th, 3rd in the form guide, um, fantastic away from home, so again uh, you know the senior first team lads will have a good training Thursday and ready 
you know, for a, for a, for a, another tough, tough game here on Saturday. And I urge everybody to get behind us. We've had two consecutive crowds over 3,000 now on a Saturday at home, which is amazing. We can do that again, get behind the team. Um, like the fans did tonight, you know, 241 here, you know, cheering the youngsters on. Um, so again, as a football club, we're going in, a, in the right direction.